Breaking now at 5, the airport fire, one of several burning in SoCal right now, causing serious concern as it burns from Orange County into Riverside County. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. And thanks for joining us. I'm Chauncey Glover. That big plume of smoke can be seen almost everywhere. Now the fire has forced new evacuations. Let's get right to Desmond Shaw live over the fire in SkyCal. And Des, what does it look like from your vantage point? Oh, this is just terrible, Pat and Chauncey. This is Lake Elsinore, so we're off of the 15 freeway now looking in this neighborhood, Lakeland Village, where we had heard that there may have been some structures that have gone up in flames. It's very hard with all of the smoke, and now we're getting the glare from the sun. But I'm going to put up the uh, street overlay as well as our map tracker here. Uh, so there's the satellite overview, and we had heard that there uh, may be some things burning here off of Grand Avenue and Toth that you see uh, right there on the screen. There are a ton of fire engines down there there, as well as the authorities trying to get people out of those neighborhoods. Uh, but all of this just completely blanketed in smoke. Now I'm going to pan over here uh, to the west and the southwest side of the lake, where we're starting to see, uh, I just can't believe how this fire has managed to grow so quickly in just a little bit more than 24 hours. I really did not expect it to affect Lake Elsinore this severely now that we're talking about structures potentially burning in the area and the flames trying to creep down the canyon here. As I zoom in right here, uh, you can see this uh, smoke kind of pouring down in there. So an extremely tough situation over here. Obviously, the air quality is in very bad shape. A new evacuation orders going in place now on the Riverside County side of the airport fire that began in Orange County. Live in Sky Caliber Head, I'm Desmond Shaw. We're going to toss it now to our Jasmine Veal, who's on the ground of the, of the airport fire in the Tribuco Canyon area. Yeah, Des, it's looking much better here in the Robinson Ranch area, but this fire, as you just said, it has grown dramatically in size, now more than 10,000 acres. Even behind me, you can still see it smoking and burning up the hillsides here. Uh, it does have a lot of competition with the other fires burning, so they are drawing on a lot of resources with the OC Fire Authority. They are protecting the towers up there on the Santiago Peak. Uh, no loss of communication so far. They are checking to see if there is any damage, but as you said, it's jumped the Ortega Highway as those new mandatory evacuation orders are in place. The attack from above Tuesday as the airport fire burned up the hills from Tribuco Canyon towards Santiago Peak. It's an all out assault. Lori and Joe Norosensky didn't get much sleep overnight. Chaos. They chose not to evacuate from their Robinson Ranch community Monday when the fire broke out. This is an emergency evacuation. 40 foot flames. It moving, changing every 10 minutes. On Tuesday, the fire was moving away from these homes above Rancho Santa Margarita, much to the relief of Lindsay Riley, who also chose to stay. It's looking like it's moving out of the way. And uh, yeah, we're just hanging tight. But it meant new evacuations for other communities in the path of the flames. We can confirm that the fire has crossed Highway 74 in the uh, El Carrizo area. The, uh, this has been a threat to the community of El Carrizo and then also uh, the Lake Elsinore front country, uh, especially with uh, a wind phenomenon that's known as the Elsinore effect where winds will burn uh, downhill in the afternoons. It's going someplace else. Somebody else is going to go through this. For another day, firefighters facing rugged, mostly inaccessible terrain and extremely hot temperatures. The heat's, this is, we never get this kind of heat. Fortunately, this fire wasn't in Santa Ana wind conditions where the northeast winds will blow it right towards these communities. Steve Concialdi with the Orange County Fire Authority says public works crews moving large boulders in the Tribuco Creek Canyon area attempting to block access to off-road vehicles accidentally sparked the fire Monday. They had to make some rescues. Mother, father, their three-year-old son hiking the Joplin Trail and they got trapped. But with them safe, now the focus is on protecting homes. You gotta go, you gotta go. And back out here live in the Robinson Ranch area near Tribuco Canyon. I mean, even this neighborhood, although things are looking better, still under mandatory evacuation orders. Uh, fire officials can't stress enough that if you are given those orders to leave, please, please do so uh, to give room for those firefighters, those engines, uh, the response teams to get up there quickly and be able to respond to any kind of flames or or the fire situation that may change in an instant. Reporting live here in Tribuco Canyon, Jasmine VLK Cal News.